President Tsai Ing-wen's refusal to recognize the 1992 consensus has led to a standstill in relations with China and a big drop in Chinese tourists. But eight Kuomintang mayors and magistrates are trying to attract visitors from China by forming a 1992 consensus municipality alliance. They say they recognize the 1992 consensus. The mayors are now visiting China at the invitation of the Taiwan Affairs Office. Chinese tourist numbers have dropped sharply since the new administration took office due to President Tsai Ing-wen's refusal to recognize the 1992 consensus. On September 12th, tourism industry workers held a massive demonstration to urge action from the government to rescue the industry. Meanwhile, senior officials from eight pan blue cities and counties are currently spending the mid-autumn festival long weekend in China at the invitation of the Taiwan Affairs Office to promote their municipalities to Chinese tourists. New Taipei City Mayor Eric Drew says his city's delegation is led by New Taipei City Deputy Mayor Ye Huiqing. Jingmen County Magistrate Chen Fuhai, who is also on the trip, says the people of Jingmen do not support Taiwanese independence, and he hopes exchanges between Jingmen and Xiamen will increase in the future. The delegation is made up of Xinzhou County Magistrate Chou Jingchun, Miaoli County Magistrate Xu Yaochang, Nanchou County Magistrate Li Mingzhen, Hualing County Magistrate Fu Quanqi, Lianjiang County Magistrate Liu Zhenying, Jinmen County Magistrate Chen Fuhai, Taidong County Deputy Magistrate Chen Jinghu, and New Taipei City Deputy Mayor Ye Huiqing. They will call on Chinese People's Political Consultative Conference Chairperson Yu Zhenshen and Taiwan Affairs Office Minister Zhang Zijun and other Chinese officials on September 18th. They will also promote their municipalities to Chinese tourists as ones that recognize the 1992 consensus. This visit has upset the mayors and magistrates of Democratic Progressive Party-controlled municipalities who have spent the last several days criticizing the trip. They say the policies launched by the central government to boost the tourism industry, including 30 billion NT dollars in loans and tax reductions, can help to reverse the situation.